all welcome back to my channel today i'll be explaining addition and subtraction of decimal fractions so let's start i have taken a problem find the sum in each of the following now here there are two decimal fraction we need to find the sum of it now so let's start with this now the first one is 0.007 plus 4.6 now here when you are doing addition the place value should be taken into consideration and we have to place accordingly now the first one is 0 0.007 plus now this next one is 4.6 and do remember the decimal point should lie in the same place so that not get confused now if there is no number here you can consider it as zeros and just add 7 plus 0 is 7 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 6 is 6 0 plus 4 is 4 and the decimal point is after three digits so count 1 2 3 and you have to place a decimal number yes so let me take the next one b1 26 plus 0 0.458 plus 13.8 now in the earlier class I told you that if any number is given and there is no decimal point now you in decimal fraction if 26 in the sense 26.0 so they are specifically saying about the number so it means after the point you have a de uh, decimal point yes so 26 can be written as 26.0 now place them accordingly 26.0 plus now it is 0 0.458 so 0 comes under 6.458 now next one is 13.8 so 1 will come under 2 3 under 6.8 now here you can see that some spaces are empty to avoid confusion better add zeros wherever digit is not there now just add 0 plus 8 is 8 8 plus 0 is 8 next one 0 plus 5 is 5 5 plus 0 is 5 now 0 plus 4 is 4 now 4 plus 8 is 12 so that 1 will be carried over to the 1's place and 2 will be written in this 10th place now add up 6 plus 1 is 7 7 plus 3 is 10 so 0 and 1 is carried over now 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 now decimal point is after 3 digits so count 1 2 3 and place a decimal digit now let me continue with the next one now C part that is 279.09 plus 35.2 plus 46 now here now 46 is given now all I have explained you that 46 in the sense it is 46.0 so now place them that is 279.09 plus 35 so 5 is in 1's place 3 is in 10's place 0 0.2 2 is in 10th place plus next one is 46 46 in the sense 46.0 0 so write down 46.0 so here there is no digit I'm taking it as 0 now here also I added zeros now just 9 plus 0 is 9 9 plus 0 is 9 now 0 plus any number is is nothing but the same number so here you'll get 2 now 9 plus 5 is 14 14 plus 6 is 20 so 2 is carried over and 
0 is right, written here. Now 7 plus 3 is 10, 10 plus 4 is 14, 14 plus 2 is 16. So 1 is carried over, 6 is written here, 2 plus 1 is 3. Now decimal point is after 2 digits. So 1, 2, place a decimal point. Hope you have understood the decimal addition. So let's continue with the next one. So I have taken this problem. Rashid spent 35 rupees 75 pies for max book and 32 rupees 60 pies for the science book. Now find the total amount spent by Rashid. Now what you have to do? First whenever the problem is given you have to analyze what is given and what you have to find out. Now here the cost of max book and the cost of science book is given and they are asking you to find out total amount spent on it. So what you have to do is first write down what is given. So given content is cost of max book is equal to. Now what is given? It is given as 35 rupees. 75 pies. Now while writing rupees you need to remember the symbol will be writing in front but whereas while reading you are going to read later. Now if it is 50 rupees we will be reading 50 rupees but you are not supposed to keep this at the back. The symbol should be always in the front space. Yes. So next one. Cost of science book is equal to now it is given 32 rupees 32 rupees 60 pies so rupees it is so simple now what you have to find out you have to find out total amount spent by Rashid now total amount amount spent is equal to now you need to so whenever they specify total in the sense you have to add them so I am going to add them now here 5 plus 0 is 5 7 plus 6 is 13 so 1 is carried over 5 plus 2 is 7 7 plus 1 is 8 3 plus 3 is 6 now decimal point is after two digits so one two place a decimal point now as you have calculated the total amount so write down therefore now these three dots indicates therefore now write down total amount spent by Rashid is equal to 68 rupees 35 pies. We have found out the total amount spent. So therefore total amount spent by Rashid is equal to 68 rupees 35 pies. So let me continue with the next problem. So the next problem I have taken is Nasreen bought 3 meter 20 centimeter cloth for her shed and 2 meter 5 centimeter cloth for her trouser. Find the total length of cloth bought by her. Now what is given here? Now here the, the length of the length of the shed cloth is given and the length of the trouser cloth is given you need to find out total length yes so first write down what is given so given now here it is given length length of cloth taken for shirt 
now here it is meter centimeter so i can write meter and centimeter so that will not get confused so i'm going to write under meter 3 and under centimeter i'm going to write 20 next so length of cloth taken for trouser is 2 meters 5 centimeter and do remember it's not 50 if it is 50 they might have written 50 centimeter but they, they have given only 5 so 5 in the sense here it is 0 and 5 under meters have written 2 and it is 5 centimeter so it is 0 5 yes so now what you have to find out you have to find out total length of the cloth bought so let me write total length of the cloth now here they are asked total so total in the sense you have to add them is so you are going to do addition so keep that sign now add up 0 plus 5 is 5 2 plus 0 is 2 and 3 plus 2 is 5 so it is 5 meter 25 centimeter so write down therefore step therefore in the sense three dots so now write down total length of the cloth bought is equal to 5 meters 25 centimeter so we have found out total length of the cloth bought is 5 meter 25 centimeter hope you have understood additions in decimal fraction if you have liked this video please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching